Insta di Kagawa Danisa. Uh, I am here to ask some question about circulatory system. Hello, Kagawa. <laughs> The number one question is, what is the circulatory system? Uh, circulatory, circulatory system is a vast network, organ, and vessels that is responsible for the flow of blood, nutrient, oxygen, and other gases and hormones from the cells. Uh, amazing highway, uh, highway that travels through the entire body, connecting in all body cells. The second question. And then, the second question is, can you set some common diseases of the circulatory system and its causes? Uh, the causes is, diseases is hypertension. High blood is a condition in which arteries uh, have persistence by elevated blood pressure, obesity, smoking, lack of activity, or some causes of hypertension. And then, number three, the last question is, what are the treatments of the diseases that you mentioned? Uh, like in hypertension, it can be treated by medical option, including classes. Uh, on drug ACE inhibitor and ARB drugs, beta blockers, etc. A healthy lifestyle is exercise, avoid unhealthy food, low fat, low sugar, and drink plenty of water. That's all. Thank you so much. Doctor. You're welcome. welcome. of the circulatory system or the um, cardiovascular system. The first one is anemia and this can be from any number of sources but it's an inadequate number of erythrocytes or hemoglobin. So there isn't enough red blood cells um, and remember um, the hemoglobin the red blood cells carry the oxygen um, to the body they also carry iron. Um, so it could be from acute blood loss um, you've lost a lot of blood so there aren't enough um, red blood cells, um, iron deficiency anemia um, causes caused by not enough iron to form hemoglobin in the erythrocytes. Um, so for that, um, for the first one, acute blood loss, you would just get a transfusion. For iron deficiency anemia, um, iron supplements and increased iron intake. Another is aplastic anemia, and that's from the result of injury or destruction of the bone marrow. So there, it isn't forming erythrocytes the way it should. It might be from chemotherapy, radiation, viruses, anything like that. And the treatment for that is eliminate the cause and get blood transfusions or a bone marrow transplant. Unless you can reverse aplastic anemia, you um, will probably um, die from it. So that is something quite serious. Pernicious anemia is caused by a lack of something called intri intrinsic factor and the intrinsic factor um, helps you absorb B12 um, and you need B12 and folic acid, vitamin B12 and folic acid in order to develop mature erythrocytes or red blood cells. Um, so what happens is you either have inadequate or abnormally large erythrocytes. Treatment for this is replace the intrinsic factor and um, give B12 injections. There's also sickle cell anemia. It's um, chronic and inherited. Um, occurs almost exclusively in um, blacks, um, African American, and um, it results in the erythrocytes not looking um, the disc shape that they normally are, but they end up to be um, crescent shaped. And it makes them carry less oxygen, they break easily, and they block the blood vessels. Um, so when the person's having a crisis, then the blood vessels are blocked, not enough oxygen is getting through, and it's quite painful. So um, transfusions of packed cells and supportive therapy to help ease the pain when they're having a crisis is um, something that you would do. 
Um, and in the future, there's research towards bone marrow transplants or stem cell transplants or um, even gene cell therapy that might offer a cure in the future. And um, if you have people in your family who have sickle cell, then they ought to undergo genetic counseling um, to see if they're a carrier so they can make um, informed decisions about whether or not they want to have children. Um, another disease or abnormal condition is an aneurysm. That's the cell of the, I mean, the side of the wall of the blood vessel is weak and it balloons out or forms a sac on the wall of the artery. Um, and it's dangerous because it could um, weaken and then rupture and then you would um, have a lot of pain and bleeding, especially if the hemorrhage is in the brain or the abdomen, um, that hemorrhage might cause death. Um, treatment is um, to remove the damaged um, area and replace it with a graft or another blood vessel. The next one is arteriosclerosis. Sclerosis refers to um, thickening, stiffening or hardening of, a, of something. In this case, it's hardening of artery walls. Um, it could be from age. Um, it gets less elastic and doesn't contract as well. Um, and um, it can cause hypertension and lead to aneurysms or hemorrhages. So the main focus if you have arteriosclerosis is to lower the blood pressure through either diet or medications. There's also atherosclerosis, and atherosclerosis um, deposits plaques and, and cholesterol, fatty deposits on the walls of the artery, and it causes the arteries to get more narrow which reduces or eliminates the blood flow. And if those plaques break loose, then they can circulate in the bloodstream as emboli or clots. Um, so a treatment for this is medications to lower cholesterol, um, stop smoking, reduce your stress, exercise, um, and they will often do surgeries to open those arteries. Um, there's several types, and if you look at your um, your Transparency Master um, 65, there's a picture of several of those um, surgeries. You see in the first one, um, the conventional balloon angioplasty, where they put a guide wire in, and then the balloon comes in, and then they blow up the balloon and inflate it, and it stretches and um, cracks the plaque, and then they withdraw the balloon, and the blood flow is better. There's also um, coronary atherectomy, Ectomy means removal of. So what they do is thread something in there, and then that device that's threaded in is inflated, so that some of it gets squeezed into the device, and it rotates a cutting blade, and pieces of the plaque are shaved off and contained in the device, and then withdrawn out. So it's kind of removing some of that, um, and then coronary stent. Um, they actually put a device in there and leave it in place. Um, so it's inflated, um, they remove the balloon, and the stent is left in place to keep the vessel open so it doesn't close up again. And then the last type of um, surgery is bypass surgery, where they actually cut out the walls of the arteries that are um, blocked by flatty, fatty plaques and use another blood vessel and um, sew it in there in its place to um, replace it and allow an opening. All right, the next um, disease we're going to talk about is um, CHF, or congestive heart failure. 